welcome back again to the Houston Rock Shooter <laughs> podcast. This time we have audio. Went through a whole audio check and then realized after I stopped the audio check that we weren't recording audio because I closed out of Road Connect. So good job, Andrew. Good um, job, Andrew. I'm Andrew. This is my wife, Nona. And we hit our 500 subscriber goal uh, this weekend. So congrats to the person that we will announce on Monday the 8th. And we're rolling right into our 1,000 subscriber giveaway. We have also moved up the timeline since we blew through 500. We're at 759. We're at 759 right now at the time of recording this. So if we hit 1,000 by uh, 4th of July in America, Eastern time, oh. midnight Eastern time. So okay. the cutoff will be 1159, 59, whatever, yeah. before July 5th. Okay. And that announcement will come the subsequent week on the 15th. Hell fucking yeah. You guys can do it. So, um, yeah. All you have to do to enter, be a subscriber on YouTube, leave a comment, like the video, and make sure you watch the video. Watch time does matter for this. Shorts don't count, just so you know. So, put it on in the background. Walk away from your computer or your phone. Put it on while you're going to sleep. Put the volume like as low as possible. If you mute it, it actually doesn't count your watch time if you didn't know that. Unless you have subtitles on. If you mute it. Yeah, if you mute and walk away, it doesn't count it as watch time unless subtitles are on. Okay. They want to know that you're actually consuming the content. If you're muting it, you're probably not a mouth reader. <laughs> so. Or they're watching it for other reasons yeah. and it has nothing to do yeah. with what they're saying. So yeah, if you ever want to support, <laughs> if you ever want to support somebody. You actually have to do one of the two. And if you don't have premium, I don't think background play counts. Okay. So if you if you are doing it on your on a desktop, mm-hmm. oh, and it'll pause if you have uh, subtitles on or captions on on desktop okay. and audio off and you move something over the screen, it'll actually pause your playback in the background automatically. So okay. it has to be active consumption. YouTube does track all that stuff and they do pause it. All right. For better or worse. Thank you for letting us know, Andrew. Yeah, you're welcome. So uh, today, this is episode 51. Okay. Um, unless something happens, this should be episode 51. <laughs> uh, we've got some topics and some things to talk about. Um, I guess, I guess we can just jump, jump right, right in. in. Yeah, jump right into the topics and things to the the debate. Oh, okay. Yay. Right. I have never seen so many people from the mainstream media just abandon the incumbent president. I don't think it's ever, maybe Nixon, Okay. but they have just, they've jumped ship. There's a handful of people who are still, there's some bozos on Twitter, some like 17 year old kids. Isn't this the first ever debate to occur in June? It's normally yeah. September. Um, so it's not the first ever, but it's the first since whatever... The organizations created that okay. that organizes them. Yeah. So they actually both sides decided that they don't want to deal with that organization anymore. Yeah, okay. So they agreed on this mutually on their own. Interesting. Yeah. I didn't know that. Yeah, I just found that out yesterday. Just like I literally didn't even know there yeah. was a debate occurring until you were like, yeah. Oh, that's happening tonight, by so, the way. <laughs> I was like, what? Here you go. It's June. Is it a coincidence? The first category four storm in recorded history in June and the first debate in June. Nothing's a coincidence. Okay. So, um, but so on that same topic, Mm -hmm. um, all other countries elections seem to be falling to the right now. Uh, Interesting. We just had Argentina, uh, Miley or Mile or however you say his name, the, uh, um, oh my gosh, libertarian that one down there. He's more right leaning, but he's, he's, he ran as libertarian. So he won. Um, the they call it the far right uh, in France. Just completely demolished the incumbent Mark Macron or Macron or whatever. Just looks like macaroni. <laughs> President macaroni. That's what we'll call him. Yeah. Macaroni. Where's Ma- Where's macaroni from? Is that French? The food or is it Italian? Italian. Okay. Well, it's unfortunate. Uh, what about Macron? As far as Was I know, Macroons? all pastas. What are macaroons or Mac- what are those things called? macarons yeah where are those from france yes so there we go okay 
President Macaron. 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 <laughs> President, um, what's that guy? That gibberish song. <laughs> what? You don't know that? Oh my gosh. What are you talking about? I'm gonna, I'm gonna play this, but I don't want it to immediately. As soon as we monetize our channel, get this copyright strike. So I'm only gonna play like a quick second. It's like Shakaron or something like that. Shakaram. Shaka. You really never. Okay. No. Hold on. I have no I'm, idea I'm, what that is. Okay, we gotta talk over this for a second. Okay. I, yeah. I. I've never right. heard this. Really. Yeah. You sure. Yeah. I don't know what this is. <laughs> is it like that for the whole song? <laughs> yeah. But that's that's how I want to pronounce his name. And I'm, I'm just going to play. Okay. That voice is going to play around for you. I'm yeah. President Macaroni. No, it's going to be President. <laughs> what the fuck is that? Um. So, yeah, the trend seems to be in, a, across the world mm-hmm. um is that right leaning people are sick and tired of the bullshit mm-hmm. and they just want their money in their pockets and not in the government makes sense so and yeah i mean there's no better time with all these wars and stuff going on mm-hmm. so here's here's one thing to consider okay. and i think the democrats are kind of fucked with this with biden if they try and like play this card but to the best of my knowledge, there has never been a sitting president that has lost their second race during an active conflict in U.S. history. Like Bush won his second right, term. I yeah. can't, yeah. I... So the sitting president almost always wins their second term. But we don't have currently, technically, I mean, we have assets. We have there's there's definitely seals and group guys and stuff like that mm-hmm. that are helping train Ukrainians. They're that they're not there to fight. They're right. there to train. Mm-hmm. Sure. Um, yeah, I'm sure the CIA is there doing their thing. Mm-hmm. But officially, right on the books, we're not there. So we'll see. But the whole that thing, uh, I don't think Russia ever retaliated for the drone thing. So I wonder if that's even going to happen or if they're just full of hot air which i don't know the um, only speculation that i heard was that the debate happened so early because democrats want to replace biden maybe but i think it's already too late anyways because mm-hmm. typically so if if we had let's say biden just concluded an eight-year term or announced that he wasn't going to run mm-hmm. in the primaries back in the spring there would have been much more debates within the Democratic Party, and they right. would have had stuff in the primary. So it's too late for anybody else to get their message out. Mm-hmm. And they've, what's her name, Dr. Jill Biden, his wife. Right. Um, she. Such a good boy. She apparently defended him on, yeah, yeah. yeah. He did so <laughs> Treating him like a little, good. treating him like a little puppy that just got so potty trained. Proud of him. He who answered all the questions correctly. Oh. Such a good boy. <laughs> so condescending. <laughs> I'm gonna start talking to you like that. I couldn't believe that like that was real. <laughs> I could I really like could not believe that, that was real. As soon as I saw it, I was like, this guy's really dumb. He really doesn't know where he is right now. Not like like I already knew that, but like to let your wife talk to you like that. Well, maybe that was what they enjoy in their marriage and that she's a dom yeah she puts on the leather and <laughs> like uh and walks him no 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 no, no, no. the boys yeah. she puts on the boots yeah. and crushes his balls in yeah. the bedroom yeah yeah okay now we know yeah now we know but uh you have to remove a diaper to be able to get your balls that's crushed why hunter's so, <laughs> that's why hunter's so traumatized <sighs> i cannot imagine We were talking about the, yeah. The debate. Yeah. Mm-hmm. President but Macaroni. But C- CNN, <laughs> Biden wages desperate bid to save re-election. Okay. Or save his re-election campaign. Mm-hmm. Like, the New York Times, to serve his country, President Biden should leave the race. Okay, so. Like, these are all. Basically, his only campaign is 
don't vote for Trump, vote for me. Yeah. That's literally his entire campaign. Yeah. Al Jazeera, Biden falls flat against Trump in first 2024 U.S. presidential debate. So then, um, well, Kamala went on Anderson, Anderson Cooper. She was trying to defend it. She's like, Anderson, we shouldn't be looking at how he performed in the debate. We should be looking at the past three and a half years. Okay. Um, no. Because you only decline more over time. He's not going to regain his cognitive abilities in the next four and a half years. He's going to lose them even more. Right. So, no. I don't. I, I know why Anderson probably didn't say that, but mm-hmm. and, but he knows that. Everybody knows that. Right. And she's... People, man. People are so gullible. Um, I had some other stuff. It all kind of got out of order, but... There's there's a surge in COVID cases because you know that's going to be important during the election again. Mm-hmm. Yep. Uh, Rep. Thomas Massey shares about his wife Rhonda's death. I don't, I don't know if that just recently happened because yeah, I think it happened last week. And she they were was high school sweethearts. Perfectly healthy human being, and there's speculation as to how she passed away. What was it reported as? I have no idea. All I know is that. She was perfectly healthy, and then she passed away gotcha. suddenly. Gotcha. So anything sudden is suspicious. So I guess it's kind of staying in the political realm of things. I do have a couple other things that can fall neatly within the confines of this episode. Um, oh, and make sure to uh, check the links in our description. Visit nonaphelps.com, get some insurance. The Max Media, America's Technology Center of Excellence. Both those links are down in the description. Make sure you like and follow us all over social media. Make sure you're subscribed here on YouTube. All over social media. And if Speaking of, he put up a question yesterday asking if I should come back to oh, yeah. social media. Should she? Yes or Should no? I? Answer in the comments. Answer. Yeah. Um, and we have the AMA up, so we'll be... So we have to record that on Wednesday. On Wednesday? Yeah. I thought we were doing it on 4th of July. Like, I thought we were doing it live. No. Oh. No. Darn. No. If if 4th of July was Friday, maybe. But Thursday, people are going to be at work during the day. Most people will get Thursday and Friday no, off. No, they won't. I bet you they won't. Okay. Tell us in the comments if you're getting Thursday and Friday off work. Mm-hmm. Um, So there's been a lot of stolen valor going around oh, within okay. the political Please sphere. Us. So uh, Rep. Troy Nels served in the Army. Mm-hmm. Um, at one point in time, he was, um, in the infantry and then he was working in like Intel or something like that. Um, so he deployed in, I think 2008, I believe there's a lot of, a lot going around about this, but the guardian of valor, stolen valor, they're the ones that kind of blew this wide open on him. So he had been wearing what's called the, uh, combat and infantry man badge. So you have, there's how do you earn that? You have to be an infantryman. And be in a firefight you know, on a deployment. Okay. So and he's not. No, because he reclassed. He joined a different MOS code. So he was no longer eligible, despite the fact that I don't, I don't know the circumstances surrounding it. I'm assuming because the unit had the ability to push it forward, that he must have been attached to some infantry unit or there must have been some infantry, infantry officers or I, I don't know. I don't know what the unit was. So, anyways. Um, he was essentially falsely under false pretenses awarded the, uh, uh, S shops, the officer in charge of S three. Um, he said that he was like on vacation or something like that. And that the award was signed for. So for example, like if, if you gave me power of attorney and I was right, signing right. for Nona, right, right, right. yeah, that's how the award was signed. It wasn't even signed by the proper person. Okay. So it was probably hammered through Mm -hmm. knowing that he wasn't actually eligible for it. So the army rescinded it Mm -hmm. a couple years ago, but he continued to wear the badges. A a couple of years ago or just recently because still in I think 2022, I believe. Called him out on it. I think 2022. Okay. So the army rescinded the order. Okay. And... He was incorrectly awarded it in 2008. So they're citing Guardian of Valor in here. Um, 
Oh, this is Texas Tribune. I thought this was a bigger. I don't know what Texas. I mean, obviously it's Texas, but um, but yeah. So only infantrymen and, and special operations, special forces soldiers are eligible. Mm-hmm. Uh, no, no, no. So in 2003, after 14 years of, after my retire, retirement, suddenly Department of the Army rescinded my CIB. According to my correspondence, I received from the Department of the Army. Blah blah. blah. So they have the Army has a 99.968 percent rate. He had to go out of his way to do the math to be like, the army always gets it right. How am I the only one? This is clearly a political attack. No, jackass, you didn't earn it. <laughs> you just, you didn't earn it. You're a fucking piece of shit. And his chief of staff had been in contact with several of these guys, Guardian of the Valor, some of the other ones. And So his chief of staff was the whistleblower on... No, no, no. Him. No, that's just... Like, that's your, basically your secretary. Like, you can't talk to the politician. Okay. You talk to the politician's secretary. Okay. He had been relaying the message and telling him, hey, you know, these walk drug groups are coming after you. They're publishing this to the news. Like, okay. stop doing it. So he he had been backing himself into a corner. He said, no, I earned it. 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 And they're like, no, we foiled your file. It was rescinded by Department of the Army. You are not authorized to wear it. You did not earn it. You might think that you did. You might have the official original award, but the army rescinded it. It's no longer valid. Period. Right. And he continued to wear it. He continued to go on the news and talk about it and make posts about it. His final post, this is my final post. I earned it and I was there and this and that. It doesn't fucking matter. You weren't an 11 Bravo or an 18 Delta or 18 Bravo or any 11 Alpha. You were not infantry or... Special forces, period. So you didn't earn it. You, it's. I'm trying hard not to laugh. <laughs> yeah. It's just like, and this is all the, because. This is so dumb to me. So this is, this is all because <laughs> he's been wearing a lapel pin. Okay. All he has to do is take the lapel pin off and be like, right? my bad. I like that letter never made it to me or, or. Could he, it probably did. He probably knew about it. But no, no, no. I'm laughing about the situation to begin with. Of He went out of his way to claim an award knowing that it was probably going to get pushed through because the person who was signing off of it was either on leave or whatever the case may be. Yeah. And he intentionally went out of his way to create this award for himself yeah. to boost his own ego. And yeah. So here's the other thing. Like, so I the just, other one. I don't understand. <laughs> So he did <laughs> he did legitimately earn the other one. Okay. They're for essentially the same thing. Okay. You come under fire, you return fire. But the other you, award is just not as special or I don't like, Because he was an infantry. It's just it's an award that you can <laughs> So it's it's the same thing. Um oh my god, I'm trying to think of another good example. There's there's several awards like this. Like there's there's comparable awards okay. for several different things across the branches. He just wanted his to be the rarer because gotcha. anybody who was in a fire, like you could be a truck driver and you could have a CAB gotcha. or cab. Um, so he wanted it to look cooler. So he does gotcha. have a cab. So he just recently, I guess somebody had advised him just quietly take it off and stop talking about it. Mm-hmm. He changed his profile picture the other day. And he's like sitting in a chair smoking a cigar and miraculously it's gone. And he's not talking about it anymore. Yeah. So. Boys are dumb. Troy Nels is a moron. Then there's a guy out of Arizona. Okay. This guy's amazing. He's Amazingly amazing. stupid? Yeah. Or? Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> Steve Slatton. Okay. He has forged and not even well. I think we might have talked about this a little bit. Is this the guy who has like the Trump store? Yeah. Yeah. He, Interesting. He has forged. His DD-214. Yeah. And like it's all mismatched. There's typos in it. It's stupid. So he entered service after we had left Vietnam. Oh, so he actually was enlisted yeah i was just under the impression that he was just full on yeah. full of shit so he entered service okay. after we left vietnam okay okay but he's claiming that he, that was, he a, was in vietnam and that he was a, a helicopter pilot in vietnam okay so he now he's running around saying that 
it was all classified. Uh, nobody, nobody else knows about this. Okay, so basically, he was in the CIA and then Depart- magically enlisted. In- so he was in Korea at the time. He wasn't even in Vietnam. His unit was in Korea. Okay, and what branch of military? Army. Army? Yeah. Okay. I'm just trying to follow the shit show. So <laughs> they, they, I don't remember how it got. I saw when it got brought up. Okay. Um, people have been tagging Guardian of Valor, Stolen Valor, mm-hmm. and. He gets inundated with a lot of the stuff because there are so right. many people. Mm-hmm. Uh, so he finally was like, all right, I'll look into it. So he put in a FOIA request for the records and he got the all of the official records. Mm-hmm. It very clearly says that he was in Korea. Mm-hmm. It very clearly says that he entered service after we left Vietnam. Mm-hmm. And this jackass has forged official records, which... I don't know all the laws and things like that, but there are, because this is starting to happen more and more frequently, first of all, you should know that these are freely and readily accessible to anybody. Anybody can go FOIA my record right now. Mm-hmm. Anybody can go get his record right I now. I bet somebody has already. Yeah, I have. It's on a disc somewhere. <laughs> and then somebody besides you oh, goofball. No, it's it's kind of a pain in the ass to do. I mean, it's mm-hmm. free, but it's a pain in the ass and... Who wants to, what, was, what I said was 1,600 pages? Mm-hmm. Nobody wants to go through that. I mean, you can ask for specific things. Mm-hmm. You don't have to ask for everything. Okay. And there are some items that you do have to have the service member's uh, permission to, gotcha. to request. Um, like medical? I believe medical is one. I don't, I can't, nothing else jumps out of me. Mm-hmm. Um, but anyway, so... You can go get their D T fourteen. You can go get you know all these all these documents and records and stuff like that. And these are all in the National Archives. Okay. Like they are public record. Mm-hmm. They're officially recorded and kept there in perpetuity. Rightfully so. Yeah. And now mm-hmm. he's trying to claim that it's not legal for people to do that, and that somebody must have stolen his identity. And that all, all all the missions that he did were top secret. Nobody would know. And that he was on some special Nixon board thing. He just keeps digging and keeps digging in. So his own party, the so the uh, or the the regional party for the GOP in Arizona mm-hmm. has already come out with a statement saying, Fuck you. We don't want anything to do with you. Oh wow. You're not running as That's part of bold. a bold. Yeah. And now the state apparently it's supposed to be putting out a statement as well. Wow. Yep. They do and not. And Arizona is pretty red, so they, that's. They do not want bold. him. They do not want him on the ticket at all. And what? what is his position? I think he's running for senator or, or uh, what is he? Senate candidate. Yeah. Gotcha. State Senate. So, yeah. But yeah, he, he literally forged shit onto his record. When you look at it, there's no... Oh, here we go. Who who posted this? Morning Mountain Daily Star on Twitter. And this is a thread that Stol- yeah, Stolen Valor is tagged in all this. But So if you look at this, you see how the type font and everything is different in here? Mm-hmm. This isn't how like any of this looks. You've seen my DD214, haven't you? Mm-hmm. Yeah. So, yeah. And... Oh, God, where's... There was something in here. There was like some special. Of course, now I can't find it. Mm-hmm. But yeah, there was some like special like Nixon group something or other on here. People like that. Oh, right there. It was the first line. Nixon Vietnamese program. <laughs> 197th, is that what no, I think it's 1974. Oh. It's the year. But yeah, there's like there's typos and all kinds, of, but there's just that that didn't even exist. Sure, it didn't. It was a magical top secret special. That's why you don't know about it, Andrew. So I told. So here's his real DD214. Okay. Yeah. So what it's I a lot less filled out yeah <laughs> what i replied to uh stolen valor was that if this guy gets elected i'm gonna run for governor of the state of north carolina 
as the first ever super secret um, Special Forces Navy SEAL. Specifically a super secret. So we have, we have what we call the so super secret squirrel. Yeah. Secret squirrel, super secret squirrel. Yeah. What does that mean? And I'm going to, I'm going to make a lapel pin with the super secret squirrel on it. Mm-hmm. And I'm going to run for the governor of the state of North Carolina, knowing that I can just lie to people. And even if people post my role records, it won't matter. Cause it doesn't matter to these guys. Don't do it. No. Digging in is stupid too. Because mm-hmm. the fact that if he would have never dug in, I never know who he is. You never right. know who he is. Right. Now he would this, have just quietly disappeared. Now, Everybody would have stopped yeah. talking about him. Now this is all this guy is for the rest of his life. Mm-hmm. So he can get fucked. I'm Loser. sure his wife is so proud of him. I want... Because, you know, he, that whole Trump story and everything. I want Trump to come out and just condemn him. I think it'd be fucking hilarious. Go stand in front of his store and say, don't shop here. No. Well, sure. That'd be <laughs> funny, too. That would actually be, that'd be fucking brilliant. That'd be so funny. But no, I think it'd be, I think if Trump catches wind of this mm-hmm. and he makes a public statement on like his social media or in a video or whatever. All right, send send this clip to Trump directly. It's not gonna, I'm gonna be put on a watch list. <laughs> so here's okay. They picked they picked the perfect picture of this bozo. Mm-hmm. He's wearing a fucking threeper shirt. He's the in Confederate flag in the background. Mm-hmm. He's like the trifecta of shit bags. Mm-hmm. Stolen valor, threeper, Confederate flag, jackass. That's what his resume should say. You know how people have the byline on their social media accounts? Mm-hmm. I just ran his off. Jackass. No. All, threeper, Stolen Valor, Confederate, Jackass. These people are always like, lover, fighter, father of two. What? He, yeah. People he, say that bullshit? Yeah. Yeah. God, I don't miss social media at all. Yeah, you do. <laughs> <clears throat> you totally miss it. Quit lying. So with that, with that, the uh, selective service. So there hasn't been a draft. The last person drafted was in 1973, right? And now they're trying to push through some changes to selective service into the draft. Mm-hmm. One of which is. Um, automating the registration process right now it's like 84.2 percent or something like that of men sign up but you know it's actually a felony carries five years in j in prison with like a two hundred fifty thousand dollar fine if you don't register yeah and equality women are being added 18 to 26 right yeah yep but so I believe I believe everyone in your family or every male in your family has to do it. But if they if there were a draft, they only ever take one. So if somebody but if somebody was already in your family, was already serving, they don't take any. So if somebody let's say Cooper was old enough and just decided he wanted to join to pay off his loans, right? Mm-hmm. Um the other three would never be drafted. Can you list Under, off all of the exceptions to being enlisted? Because so there are there are education waivers. There's all of medical these waivers. Kids who have anxiety and so so there are education waivers and there are medical waivers, mm-hmm. but there are also waivers the other way. Okay, like so what? during the beginning of GWAT, there were people that were clearly too dumb to pass the ASVAB. And they would gave them a waiver to let them join. Mm-hmm. You can have a medical condition that would normally prevent you, like having flat feet or bone spurs or, I don't know, an amputation. Mm-hmm. You could also get a waiver to join with that medical condition. Gotcha. I mean, fucking uh, Nick Lavery, who, I don't know if you met him, but he was there in Salt Lake City. You might have met him. What was he there for? I might Warrior remember Rising. that. No, no, no. 
what was his his thing? I might um, remember that more than the name. Did he go up? He went up. Fuck, I don't remember what he talked about. All right, so let's that move night, on then. That night, there, that was a long weekend for <laughs> yes. me. Um, for just but you? But he, so he's he's an amputee. Okay. And he continued to serve with the prosthetic. And I believe he's still in. He's in Special Forces, Special Operations. Oh, okay. Yeah. Nick the Machine Lavery is what he goes by. The Machine. Yeah. He's a nice guy. But I mean, like, so there are people that can stay in. And there's, once again, it depends on the fucking mood of the branch at the time. Gotcha. Because there were people um, around when I was in that couldn't get out for anything. You could be reclassed or put in a desk job or whatever, but you were not getting med boarded. And then shortly after I got out, when things started getting more lax, they were like, oh, you stubbed your toe? Out. <laughs> yeah. You don't want to take the COVID vaccine? Out. Yeah. They've been begging them to come back. Mm -hmm. I don't know if anybody has. I know there were a lot of people that never wanted to get out, mm -hmm. but they weren't going to take the vaccine. Right. So maybe some of them went back in. Mm -hmm. The the uh, Marine Corps is so desperate for certain uh, jobs right now that they'll bring you in as like an E7. As an 18-year-old? I don't know about an 18-year-old. I don't know what all the qualifications... There's some... I believe it was, a degree was required, so maybe oh, 22. Oh, okay. But, yeah. I, but I people thought are, that was... But people, people are pissed because they're like, so you're bringing in somebody that doesn't understand the culture. They have no rapport. They have no understanding of leadership roles or anything like that. I thought that's how it was with all the branches. If you already had a degree E4. in... E4. Uh, E4. Or you go off, you commission. Right, right. But if you come in with an associate's degree, I believe is the minimum, you can come in as an E4 in the Army. Um, the other branches, I'm assuming, are the same, but Army specifically. And you can fast track to make E5 in like two years, gotcha. depending on your MOS and everything else that you're doing. So it's possible to get promoted really quickly, but mm -hmm. um, to be promoted to E6 to E7, the the to make that list and make E seventy eight and E eight and T nine, um, takes there's there's a lot more that goes into it. I mean, all of them have boards and stuff like that, but that takes, um, oh my gosh, why am I spacing on it? Doesn't matter. I can tell you all this later. You won't even care, but I'm gonna I'm gonna Google it and ramble it off. So yeah, I'm so <laughs> excited and for every, you to. Call me. You should be. And every every MOS has different requirements for uh, what are called points. So you can earn points towards your promotion based on your PT score, based on your uh, board evaluation, based on you know your continuing education, based on going to uh, these different uh, qualification courses and things like that, or ASI courses. So there's a lot of ways... For most MOSs, mm -hmm. Ranger School will max out your points from E4 to E5 or E5 to E6. So if you go to Ranger School as an E4, you're probably going to make the promotable list to E5 once you graduate. Same thing from E5 to E6. So there's a lot of incentive to go to what's the Army's premier leadership school. But to come in without any time in the military, gotcha. that is would be understandable in a wartime situation because mm -hmm. you have um, what are called field grade promotions that are possible, which is literally a general is like right. during World War II, this happened a lot. Like Audie Murphy specifically, we've talked about him. Mm -hmm. um, promoted from E5 to captain, which is like that doesn't right. happen normal. <laughs> you know, you have to go green to gold, blah, 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 or there's a couple different paths to go from enlisted to officer. So, so, these guys are all shitbags, and I fucking hate them all. But you hate everybody. No. Yes. No. No. Not at all. Don't make them feel special. But so, so when uh, Guardian of Valor comes on, mm -hmm. um, 
one of the first things I want to ask him are what are the most egregious, like what are the most ridiculous stories that you've looked into? And then I'm going to work on how I'm going to run for governor. <laughs> Says the man I'm gonna, who I'm gonna grab, said he was running for HOA president and would for sure win and did literally nothing. I did nothing and still almost won. <laughs> you did not almost win. Yes, I did. Could you imagine me as governor? Do we need to put the sign out front? An could, asshole lives here. Could you? Yeah. Could Actually, perfect spot right there. I bought him this sign. And he had it out front for like a week. And then the HOA got on him. Well, the mistake was sending the picture to the HOA. <laughs> That's your own damn fault for doing that. What are they going to do? No, the, they so got on if, you about no, it. If, if we would have stayed in that house, I 100% was going to challenge that in court because all those people that put up all those boards and signs, like define what a sign is. Because if it's if it can be artsy and crafty, I'm gonna go fucking make an artsy and crafty sign that says the exact same thing. What are you gonna do about it? Nothing. We don't I like believe the words. as long as it's by your door, then it falls under so decoration. I just, so I could just leaned it up against the door. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. <laughs> but because it was a sign in the yard, it fell under the but it rule wasn't. of no. Yard but signs. No, but try, try and define that like mm -hmm. in the court. A sign is a sign. I literally just said, yeah. if it been, had been up against the door, I'm gonna say, okay. and decoration on your front porch. If there can't be any signs in anybody's lawn, how come people have, why are there street signs and stop signs? That's in somebody's lawn. Th those people own that property. And the so you're telling me it's okay for the government to violate that rule? Does anybody... I don't think anybody owns any property that has the street sign and the stop sign on it. Yeah. That falls under No, they the, no, you still own that. Mm -mm. It's it's on it's your, in the easement, but you your, own your, it. Your property line stops. No. No. Mm -hmm. Nope. Mm -hmm. Nope. Mm -hmm. Nope. Look it up. You look it up. You look it up. You look You're it the up. one trying to challenge me here. You look it up. Who's right? I'm right. They're gonna say it. I'm right. Anyways. Oh, for the AMA, it's posted everywhere. But everywhere is where? Everywhere. But if you want me to actually read your questions, reply to the post here in our community tab, comment on Twitter, or reply on Reddit. Those are the only places I'm really actually going to look. Okay. Yep. And let's hit 1,000 subscribers this week. Hell fucking yeah, let's do it. Bye. Goodbye.